Hello, this is Bern, and if you're one of those women who find it hard to express herself in the presence of a man she considers to be an awesome catch, well, stick around, because I'm going to be showing you how you can express yourself with a lot more power and a lot less fear on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave and excited to be sharing with you how you can express yourself more fully to a man. This week, one of you viewers sent me a question saying that she's not the kind of woman that can express herself fully and that she's used to holding stuff in. So obviously when the right guy comes around, she's not able to do it, right? And I think that many of you, if you're really honest with yourself, yourselves, <laughs> you'll find that uh, it's easier to express yourself in situations where you don't feel that the stakes are so high. So what I want to share with you right now is a four simple step process that can allow you to express yourself more fully no matter how awesome the guy you're in front of is. <laughs> okay, the first one is express more. Go deeper in your life, period. What do I mean by that? I mean that every area of your life is intricately related to each other. And if you express more in your day-to-day -day life, if you're more vulnerable with your friends, if you're more conscious of setting the right boundaries when people are pushing them, if you are the kind of woman who likes singing but is so afraid of the judgment she'll receive and you keep it to yourself, then that means that in the context of you driving, you allow yourself to, exp to express that singing. Uh, in the context of being with other human beings, if you really enjoy dancing, you let it out. You express it and you focus more on expressing it than on what people think of you. Number two, sounds pretty simple, but I think it's so important to remember, choose a man. If you're going to express yourself at the deepest level, if you're going to share all parts of you, you have to take some risks at the beginning by sharing less and then, then sharing more when somebody ends up being an amazing guy. Well, choose a man worth expressing more to. I can't tell you how many times I connect with women who feel that because a guy has on paper or chemistry wise the right things that, that he deserves your awesomeness and your expressiveness in full. And that's not true. If he's not investing in you, he's not worth exp you expressing more to. If he's taking an interest in you, then you can take it further. So choose a man worth expressing more to versus just any guy because you put him on a pedestal and you think he's great and now you, he deserves to experience that gift of yours. Your expression of you is a gift. So choose wisely how and who you share it with. Three, practice being half a shade braver. There's one of my favorite philosophers, David White, is, talks about this concept of being half a shade braver. Think about the just the imagery of that. Half a shade braver doesn't mean you slay dragons, right? It just means that you have the capacity to lean over the edge of this comfort and push through instead of leaning back. So when you catch yourself in the context of a guy um, not saying something, just be half a shade braver and smile more. Open up your heart more. Move with more passion. State your opinion more clearly. Half a shade braver, I mean, if you do this day by day, there is this compounding effect that allows you the opportunity to become significantly, exponentially braver. And even if you still feel the butterflies, you're able to now go through it and express it. So practice being half a shade braver. Number four, understand that it's not about him. This is probably the most important one of them because I think if you think that you're doing this because of the guy, if you think you're expressing yourself because the guy is, uh, is the, 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 I don't know, like the gift, then you might be doing this the wrong way. Understand that ultimately expressing yourself more fully is a stance that you take in life that says something along the lines of, I will not die with my awesomeness untapped. I will not die with my passion ungiven. I will not die with so much love in my heart and no one to express it to. So once you understand that it's not about the guy, that it's about the stance that you courageously take in life, 
that it's about you stepping into the most passionate life you can experience, then you do it knowing that you're paving the path along the way to an experience of life where there are no regrets. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful to you. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up show up that allows you to sign on to a webinar I'm hosting where I will share with you how you can find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>